One of the things today's musicians and producers tend to take for granted with modern DAWs is the ability to manipulate time. Not just for MIDI recordings, where that's always been possible, but for audio recordings as well. Logic is no slouch when it comes to this. Its flex time feature provides all the now familiar time warping capabilities, and Logic's global beat mapping track lets the user adapt project tempo to the timing of a recording. However, taking advantage of these kinds of time warping capabilities is not always the most straightforward editing task. Any user who's worked with time shifting tools in any DAW has learned that playing around with time can often be more than a little tweaky and occasionally may demand a fair bit of user effort and technological knowledge to get the desired results. With the 10.4 update to Logic Pro, Apple sought to streamline some of the tempo handling capabilities of Logic and at the same time add powerful new time handling features with their new Smart Tempo feature. Smart Tempo takes some of the existing tempo manipulating capabilities of Logic, like beat mapping and conforming audio to tempo, and introduces a more automatic way of performing those functions, where Logic does more of the heavy lifting behind the scenes to make tempo adjustments as close to an automatic process as possible, in as many circumstances as possible. Apple's latest algorithms for analyzing and detecting tempo, in conjunction with their existing flex time capabilities, make for some impressive tempo handling, and if used appropriately, and carefully, can make quick work of tempo adjustments that, while possible in many cases, would have been far more labor-intensive and tweaky in previous versions of the program. But again, like all tempo-related tools, even the cutting-edge implementation of smart tempo requires a fair bit of understanding of both the basic technology of tempo manipulation of audio and MIDI, and the particular implementation of the specific functions and modes that this new feature has on tap. That's where this course comes in. Logic's smart tempo builds on existing tempo shifting features, sometimes working in conjunction with them, like using flex time to actually time shift the audio when needed, and other times supplanting older methods. For example, new editing features offer an alternative, more automated approach to beat mapping. Smart tempo offers new approaches to both conforming project tempo to new or imported audio and MIDI recordings, the region tempo, and conforming new recordings or imported audio files to an existing project tempo. Several automated modes are provided, and they work surprisingly well, but depending on specific workflow, sometimes getting everything to work seamlessly may still require the user to have some level of familiarity with the underlying technology and the differences between the smart tempo modes themselves, choosing the best options for a variety of different recording and musical scenarios, and sometimes manually applying particular time-based tweaks. The course will start with a little background in the underlying technology common to all time shifting tools, and also take a very brief look at some of Logic's earlier time editing features. Then it'll cover the three smart tempo modes and how Logic deals with tempo in each mode. Updates to the settings for automatically conforming audio to project tempo will be covered, and there'll be examples of how and when to use these options in typical recording and editing scenarios. Since even the most sophisticated algorithms for automatic tempo analysis might require a little manual adjustment at times, there's a new editor, the Smart Tempo Editor, where the user can correct or just fine-tune the auto-analysis of an audio or MIDI recording. While this should ideally be needed only infrequently, when it is, it's important to have a good understanding of the options, which could easily be confused with other time editing features, and so the course offers a thorough look at this new editing display. Besides the automatic tempo handling, Smart Tempo also includes a number of manual tempo commands, which can come in handy for specific situations. These will also be covered in detail, again with examples. There will be several overall examples of Smart Tempo and the application of its features in typical workflows, as well as a look at some of the limitations. But first up, the next two videos will present a little background, a quick run-through of some of the key concepts relating to tempo handling, and a very brief look at some of Logic's previous time-shifting features.